Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the College Woman's Cookbook of 1923, we're going to be making the snappy sandwich. For the peanut butter, we add chopped up green bell pepper, diced bacon, get that mixed together. Oh, but we're not done. No siree, Bob. That's because we're to add mayonnaise to make it sufficiently spreadable. And we put that on the bread. Okay, let's give this snappy sandwich a go. It's not horrific. I mean, peanut butter and bacon go together really well. Green bell pepper, you know, it kind of plays with the savory side of peanut butter. The mayonnaise just sort of disappeared and brought a little richness. So that, even though that sounded weird, it actually is just rich peanut butter now. Um, I do think we can plus this up a little. There's a bunch of different ways we could go. I could go with some Cajun seasoning or some Ethiopian Barbera seasoning, but uh, I'm gonna go with some uh, chili crisp. All right, let's give this snappy sandwich plussed up with chili crisp. It's actually a garlic chili crisp. Go. That works. We've actually completely yanked it into the savory column, but you've got heat, you've got garlic, you've got a little Sichuan peppercorn numbing sort of uh, feeling going on. Plays well with the peanut butter, plays well with the green bell peppers, plays well with the bacon and the mayonnaise. Well, I gotta say the original snappy sandwich wasn't bad. Um, I'm not sure why they call it snappy. There was nothing snappy about it. It was just peanut butter, green bell pepper, mayonnaise, and bacon, but it was not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a six and a half. Plussed up with the garlic chili crisp, that's like a seven and a half. That is a solid sandwich. I am definitely gonna finish that, and I would make the plussed up version again any day. That is tasty. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.